Did you know Ghetto or the brain taking over Ghetto, otherwise known as Kenjaku, is the secret parent to someone super important in the JJK story? It all starts when Kenjaku awakens Yuji's fellow occult member from episode 1. You remember her, right? Her name is Sasaki, and she finds herself in an awful situation after awakening in the middle of the culling game, a deadly match orchestrated by Kenjaku where participants must either kill or be killed. Naturally, she asks to leave, and Kenjaku, being surprisingly understanding, assists her in leaving the barrier safely. But why? This is the moment when we discover who he truly is the parent of, as he leads Sasaki from the dreamlike state back to reality and out of the barrier. Before parting ways, he then expresses his gratitude to Sasaki for being a friend to his son, doubling down on the already suspicious thoughts from some people on his connection with Yuji, and reveals his unexpected fondness for Yuji too, appreciating that Yuji has had friends and even indicates that he's been keeping a watchful eye on Yuji for quite some time. So there you have it, the parent for Yuji is this person here. And man, this shit gets confusing because it's a brain, but it's also Ghetto, but it's Kenjaku. And I can't even wrap my head around this or how this is even possible or think of a reasonable explanation to it. But I can't wait to see for myself whenever I get to it. And I hope we have answers by now. I'm catching up slowly. He fulfills his promise to escort Sasuke out the barrier as she fully regains consciousness and snaps out of the dreamlike state she finds herself standing next to another familiar occult member iguchi and man i'd never thought i'd see these two again it's kind of cool seeing them brought up in the story again together they stare at the barrier before them along a ton of other innocent people i'm assuming and with this the culling game officially begins from this point on and if you're enjoying these kinds of JJK videos, make sure to tune in for my next video where I'll be going over Yuji's next big fight where we see a really cool new domain expansion from a rather interesting new character that I've grown fond of. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button with the bell on. I will see you guys on the next one.